Okay, so I know this is a pretty weird way to kick off of predictions, but I didn't add this in into the full prediction video. I don't even know how I like forgot about it, but Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn. Sami won the gauntlet in on SmackDown, so it's gonna be Sami and Shinsuke for the IC title at day one. I'm gonna go and say Sami is gonna win the title. I mean, you might as well, Sami entertaining, just do what he needs to do with the belt. Shinsuke, let's be real, this whole Shinsuke Nakamura intercontinental reign has been a waste. I thought they were going to do something with him, but they just haven't done nothing, and it's just, you, you might as well just give it to Sammy, uh, unless you are going to do something with Shinsuke, but they haven't really done anything with him, so might as well just put the title on Sammy. All right, on to the official day one predictions. Hope you enjoy. What's going on, everyone? This is the Kid DC Wrestling back at it again with another video. Before I really get into this prediction video, first want to say since this video will be released on Christmas Day, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. You know, happy holidays, you know, spending time with the ones you love the most and all that good stuff. And another thing, guys, we are 10, as of the making of this video, we are... 10, 10 subs away. We're at 490. We are 10 subs away from 500 subscribers. We're almost there, guys. I really do humbly believe that we can get to 500 subs by December 31st, which is next Friday. I really do think we can do it, guys. So make sure you not just subscribe, but also like and comment as well. Those two things are much appreciated as well. Now, this is WWE Day 1 predictions. WWE Day 1 is the very first, coincidentally, the first WWE pay-per-view, the very first show for the WWE of 2022. And I'm looking at this card for the most part. This should be, in my opinion, a pretty good show for the most part. So, uh, let's not waste any time and let's get to it. Let's start with the probably the least of the least of this card and that is drew mcintyre versus matt cat moss these guys have been feuding these past like few weeks it's to me it's not like a big important feud uh, for the most part it feels filler in, in my honest opinion you know no disrespect to drew mcintyre and no disrespect to matt cat moss but this feud just screams Filler, which is completely understandable because it obviously seems like they're not going to do anything in that important for Drew McIntyre. You know, they're saving the big stuff for him probably up until the Rumble and, you know, onwards to WrestleMania. So as far as this match goes, I got Drew McIntyre winning. Like one sided, Drew's going to win. And this is probably going to most likely be the end of the feud. I just do not see them continuing this feud after day one. Okay, after that, I'm going to go into the Edge versus Miz match. It's right. Edge recently got drafted back to Raw. He is on Raw now. The Miz made his return. He's been on Dancing with the Stars, and the Miz has just basically been trunning down Edge, talking about why does Edge get these opportunities when I have been working my butt off for over a decade and stuff like that. And yeah. These two men will are set to collide at day one, and it should be an interesting one. I know a lot of people may not love the Miz and Edge feud. Many people say it's a feud that they're doing, copying off of CM Punk and MJF. But, you know, if you want my honest opinion, bro, I got no problem with the feud. I mean, it's the Miz. Miz is cool. Edge is legendary. I mean, make no mistake about it. Um, but it's it's not bad. You know, it's, it's decent at best. It's not bad in any way, shape, or form. Like, the promos between the two men have been pretty good. So, this should be a pretty good match. But in the end, I do have Edge picking up the win here. Edge will be picking up the win here, and he will defeat The Miz at day one. Okay, so now as we move to the championship matches, we have a tag team match player for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. This These two teams are very, very familiar with each other. The Usos versus the New Day. These two teams get to run it back, man. So, so many times these two teams have faced off. But like I said before, every time they face off, 
it's it's just it's just as bad as the last one. The Usos and the New Day to this day it's still one of my favorite tag team feuds. And um, I think that at day one, I think it's going to be another amazing tag team match. But in the end, the bloodline will reign supreme. The Usos will retain their SmackDown tag team titles. Okay, so we move to the women's side. We have Becky Lynch defending her Raw Women's Championship against Liv Morgan. These two women did face in the main event of Raw a few weeks ago. But of course, Becky Lynch did win. But Liv Morgan gets another opportunity. Is this Liv Morgan's time? I don't know, dude. I still think that man is going to retain her belt. Should be a pretty good match, though. But I do think Becky Lynch will be winning the title. I really, well, retaining the title. In my opinion, I don't see Becky dropping the Raw title up until WrestleMania at this point. I, I really don't. Um... And we'll get to that when we get to that. But as far as day one is concerned, Becky Lynch is retaining that title. Now, <clears throat> we move towards the WWE title match. It will be a fatal four-way match. Big E versus Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens versus Bobby Lashley. This was originally just supposed to be Big E and Rollins, but then it got turned to Rollins, KO, and Big E. Now, Lashley into the mix. I think this is going to be a really, really good um, Fatal 4-Way match. And in my opinion, I think this is a match that could potentially steal the show and but coincidentally be the match of the night at day one. Um, you know, Big E for the most part, dude, I, I think Big E has been solid as a WWE champ. Um I mean, they've been doing a a solid job. I know people have been like, oh, they're doing a bad job with Big E. Oh, Big E still feels mid-card. Big E doesn't really feel main event, even with the title. I mean, yeah, that, that's why I'm saying with Big E, in my opinion, in my eyes, Big E has been a solid WWE champ. And, you know, it, I just... I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here and say it. I'm going to go out on this prediction here. I just I want to say Biggie, but at the same time, something tells me Rollins is going to win. So if I had to choose between Seth Rollins and Biggie, hmm, it would be nice to see Rollins win. But at the same time, Biggie should get a, at least a little lengthy title reign. Just Hold the title just a little bit longer. I'm going to go out and say it. I think you need to start the year off bold. I think I'm going to go with Seth Rollins win the W title. I know it's bold, but I mean, <laughs> it, it, the reason why I'm going with Rollins is because, well, we haven't seen a Rollins title reign, especially a WWE title reign since when's the last time Rollins has held the WWE title since he's got injured back in 2015. And again, the Big E title reign has been solid. You know, part of me hasn't wanted to end, but it feels like that even with they continue Big E going as W champ, they're not going to give him that strong championship feel. I hope they do, kind of like how they did Drew. Like, they booked Drew strongly as champ. And with Big E, like I said, he's been solid for the most part. Lashley, dominant as champ. So, I'm going to go ahead and say a bold statement. I think Rollins could win the title here. Okay, in our main event... We have the Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. These two men have clashed at WrestleMania twice. These two men have collided in Saudi Arabia twice. These two men are going to collide in the first pay-per-view of the new year. Who walks out as champ? There's no Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman's been fired. There is rumor that their WWE is planning on this big finish. Honestly, this is, in my opinion, this could go either way. Um, as much as the Paul Heyman fire and as much I want to believe it, a part of me still feels like that this is a way of Roman Reigns, you know, pulling a one up on Brock. And, you know, we're going to see Paul help Roman beat Brock at, at day one. So I'm going to go ahead and say I think. Roman Reigns could win, should win the Universal Championship. I think what you can do, I mean, Roman should retain the Universal Champ. And I know what people are thinking, well, what do you do with Brock? 
Have Brock and Lashley go at it, man. Set up Rumble. Have them go at it at um, Mania. I think Bobby and Brock is a Mania match that you can do. Brock Lesnar is a free agent. Set a match up. I think you could do some good stuff with that. That it's compelling, but um, we'll 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 get to that when we get to that. Cause right now we need to get to day one, and I'm nine minutes into this video, so <laughs> don't want to make this too long of predictions. Um, this has been my day one predictions again. Hope you guys have one for Christmas. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comment section who's gonna walk out as day one as the W. Who's gonna take the W? Who's gonna retain their titles? And all that good stuff, man. Uh, the remaining of the week, I'm going to give you guys my top 10 WWE matches and my top 10 AEW matches will be coming out in the next few days. Starting with the WWE, that video will probably be out Sunday at the best. So I'll give it to you guys. Again, this has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.